Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace back again with another video, and as you can see, 40 messages. So, you can see where this is going. <sighs> OBA is trash. You fucking Canadian, great. LOL, my... Bugetti Veron, I love running people over with it. Whatever, that is a car, I'm assuming. Uh, the voice message you sent me, you sounded handsome. Uh-huh. Damn, every woman in your neighborhood want to do you. <laughs> what the fuck? Ha-ha, you are handsome once again. Now he switches to you, faggot. My Xbox froze up last night, and when I signed in, I seen you blocked me. Uh, except for the fact that you wouldn't know I blocked you, because it doesn't tell you if you're blocked. I would just not- you'd send me a message and I'd never get it, and you'd never fucking know. Uh, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Not unstoppable. Unstoppable. Er, actually, that's unstoppable. Uh, when I get a Lambro- is that how you spell Lamborghini? I don't think so. In GTA Online. See, this is that same fucking Tristan kid. And I should show, actually, right here. This Haley Horror guy says, So my bro informed of me of the fact that he's been trolling you for a while now on different accounts so he could piss you off. I just ignore anything that says ghosty or something like that. I apologize on his behalf and hope you have a good day. So, clearly, this guy is that same fucking little puke. And also, Xavier, you better suck his dick and love it. What the fuck? Xavier, he will return someday. Xavier fucking doesn't give a shit about you. He doesn't give a shit about anything, really. You love Xavier's balls. Like, what the fuck? What else is there? Hey, you suck. You same thing. Now he's Canadians are faggots. Uh-huh. You love Xavier. Now he's repeating himself three times in a row. You have a crush on him. What the fuck? You are the gayest faggot ever. <sighs> Canada is Nazi land. United States <laughs> isn't or er, inset a Nazi land. You faggot. Let's just uh, how do I report this? View profile. Uh, file complaint. File complaint. Text. Text message, file complaint. It's not going to do anything, of course, because Microsoft doesn't really do much of anything. Oh, these kids and their fucking idiots. Or they are fucking idiots. By the way, you have a handsome avatar and voice. Now he's complimenting me again. He's a guy saying I'm handsome, yet he calls me the gay one. Like, fucking dumbass. Go get laid, 90% of girls want to do you. Oh my god, what the fuck. You fag, and now he insults me again. He's got, like, multi-personality disorder. Get help. Take some fucking medication, you spastic child. Uh, you're stupid. Only Americans are smart. That sentence automatically dictate or what's the word, contradicts what you said. The Miiverse admins, they are doing a good job at banning the core gamers and protecting the trolls. Exactly. Uh, plus, trolls and hackers are the reason why Call of Duty core gamers left COD, Hispanics, and niggers for the win. Like, what the fuck? You're not even Hispanic. You're a fucking American piece of shit. British or fags? I don't. Again, don't know why you're going after the British, but whatever. Well, since you won't make video, I win. Then so, ha ha. How do you win? Weird face thingy. Come to New York. We will make babies. Someone hasn't finished grade 3 health class because you would know that frickin' guy plus guy does not equal babies, you fucking retard. John and Tristan forever. If you say so. You're so handsome again. You have a nice haircut. I like your haircut. I'm so glad. Now fuck off. I'm Herbert. You mind giving me my newspaper? Uh, fucking family guy thing. Oh, a voice message. Let's see, we'll come back to these. Uh, handsome boy, of course. Yep. I love handsome boys like you. Not a boy, I'm a man, but whatever. Whoops, that's a voice message. We'll come back to that in a second. Well, I'll chat to you later, John. Come call me sometime. I'm Herbert. No, you're not. You're fucking dumbass. 
Now, did I miss anything? Just these ones. Let's play it. I will shut up and you can listen. That's a nice muscly throwing on you got there. You know, if you get sweaty and want to take your shirt off, that'd be just... Great. Now he went from Resident Evil and trying to be woo spooky to freaking using a Herbert soundboard, which I am no stranger to because I've had my fun using that soundboard before. Oh. I mean, like, what is with some people's brain chemistry? There's like a brain nerve missing where there can't be a circuit completed or something where something that normally would make a person say, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Is absent in this fucking arrogant piece of filth's head. I don't even know if there's anything in this kid's head. Like, did his parents drink too much fucking alcohol when they had him? Nah, he's probably a bastard child who's fucked and or conceived in the back of a fucking car seat. Nah, he's too good for that. More like a fucking bathroom stall. Fucking shithead. Uh, let's see what he's got to say next here. Uh, it's probably more Family Guy. Fucking dumbass can't even get the fucking voice right. He's supposed to put it near his headset, not fucking a hundred years, or not a hundred years, a hundred yards away from it. <sighs> you know what this kid needs? Normally I'm 100% against this, but I think this kid is the special exception. He needs his parents to give him a swift ass kicking. I'm talking about bending him over your knee and just smacking the shit out of him. <sighs> but then again, when you have kids who are fucking in second grade and they, you know, they're brain dead and they're flunking out of school and being assholes playing Call of Duty in second grade, I mean, it's it's not a it's not a surprise that these types of kids exist. And again, he misses the fucking mic. He doesn't even have the motor skills to put a speaker near the headset. How stupid is this kid? Like, seriously, I don't, I can't even comprehend. If you were to combine every other person on the planet who is considered an idiot and combine them into one person, this kid is still a bigger idiot than every other fucking idiot on the planet combined. That's saying something. Which reminds me, there was a story I heard about, I was thinking about doing a separate video on it, where it was about these two parents who sold their kids because they needed money to buy more video game stuff. It was like for online purchases and stuff for video inside of a video game, like microtransactions or something. This kid, you should sell him. He has no value in life. He's not going to go anywhere in life. He's going to flunk out of 6th grade if he even makes it that far. Then what's going to happen? Well, his parents will eventually die of old age, leaving him alone without any skills or any direction to go for his life. He won't be able to pay for his Xbox Live. He won't be able to pay for an internet connection so he can't play his precious Call of Duty because he'll only be a stupid retarded piece of filth. He'll never get a job, he'll never make money, he'll never have an internet connection, he'll never be able to buy a game again, and eventually he will die as a homeless person, rotting away into the Earth's core. And then, and only then, can all of us dance on his grave, his bones, and spit on him and say, good, you finally did something with your life. You fucking fertilized the planet, you feet. Or, I can't even think of what I was going to say. I'm so fucking tired. Uh, what was I going to say? 
you finally did something useful, fertilizing there, or something like that, whatever. Uh, anyway, oops, I suppose, suppose I should block him again, although he's just gonna make another fucking account. Block communications. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. So many fucking messages. Keep deleting, keep deleting, keep deleting. And of course I'm gonna decline the fucking friend request. Why would I be friends with a fucking retard? Stupid fucking kids, man. And people wonder why I hate kids. It's so fucking obvious, man. It's so fucking obvious. It should be, if you're like 10 years old, as soon as you hit 10 years old, there should be a mandatory test that you take. And if you flunk this test, you just get put down. You're just dead. You just get killed. Your choice. You can be like, you know, lethal injection, lethal injection or thrown in a volcano, or sent into space towards the sun, or, you know, push down a hole and you can just live down there forever until you just die. I mean, like, if you're 10 years old and you can't even tell what you should and shouldn't be doing, then, then you don't fucking deserve to live. I don't give a shit. There's no fucking excuse. So, Tristan, I'm going to say this once and one more time only. Fuck off. You don't want to mess with me. If you're going to continue to push my buttons more and more and more, week after week, month after month, year after year, one of these days, you're going to get your ass kicked. Not by me, but by someone. And when that happens, your parents aren't going to be able to bail your ass out. You can't run home to mommy. What's going to happen, you're going to get your ass kicked, you're going to be fucking scared, you're going to get your fucking ribs broken, and you're going to pay the price. And when that day happens, this is all I will say. Well, it's not really saying anything. I will clap, and all the OBA army will clap, and it will be a glorious applause for you. Because we will all chant together, Tristan got beat. Tristan got beat. Tristan got beat. You can't beat me, kid. No one's ever beaten me before. No one's ever beat me ever. And that is going to do it for this video. I'm Original Blood Ace. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. As always...